Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown or maybe a disassemble. Maybe show you how to upgrade some of the stuff, for example, like your RAM, maybe your M.2 drive, clean out the CPU fan, maybe change out the battery. So in this video, I'll be taking things apart, explaining each of the section and let you know what you can do with it with in terms of replacing it or upgrading the laptop. All right, so here I have the Acer, um, Acer Spin 5 series. So if you take a closer look here, it says Acer Spin 5, and the model is N19W3. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is to get myself a T5 screwdriver. I believe this is a torque screwdriver. I mean, sorry, torque screws all around the back cover. So using a T5 and let's go ahead and unscrew them. All right, once you have removed all the screws, now the next step is to pry open the back cover. I'm using a metal prying tool just to stuck it underneath enough strength to get the plastic prying tool in it and using the plastic prying tool to separate them. The reason why I use a plastic prying tool so it doesn't make a scratch on the laptop. I guess best is to remove the, uh, I gotta apologize, maybe best is to remove the uh, pen right there. Okay, there you have it. You just remove the entire back cover. So here you get to see the entire laptop. So this is your main battery. This is your CMOS battery. If you want to reset your BIOS or reset the motherboard, you can slide the CMOS battery down by using your two fingernail, slide it down. This is the main battery. So let's go ahead and remove this tape. Once you have removed the black tape, so what we can do is to slide the battery connector down. So slide it down towards your body. And that's how you remove the connector. Now, if you want to disconnect the entire battery, get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. We, go, we are going to remove the two screws. And now you can remove the entire battery. If you're curious to find the battery replacement, you probably can look it up under uh, this number right here. The KT004070008 or the one that says 042007CDBQA2. Or maybe try to look it up for the replacement part, maybe AP18C7M. If you're not sure where to buy them, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a list in the description below where you can get the tools from, the tools that I take things apart, and also the replacement like the battery, the RAM, maybe not the RAM, I don't see any RAM here, maybe the M.2 drive, things like that, okay? So the battery looks good. If the battery is flat like this, um, you are in a good shape. 
it still hold the charge but if your battery is swollen or there's a lump to the battery then it is time for a replacement all right let's move on this is your m.2 drive get yourself a phillips screwdriver remove the screw and slide the m.2 to your left and that's how you remove the m.2 drive this is the 512 gigabyte and if you want to increase to one terabyte you can obviously buy them online and uh, something like this and do a replacement by installing the same same way it came off okay now let's put this on the side here this is the io board the usb port on the left side of it and this is the flex cable the bridging over to the main motherboard this is your cpu with the heatsink and this is your cpu fan all right so to remove the cpu fan let's go ahead and remove the screw two screws slide the connector away from you so away from your body slide it to that direction and now you can remove the cpu fan if your fan is very dusty and if the computer is overheating all the time then you might want to consider cleaning out your fan get the aiken duster just spray it a dust it and maybe um, maybe if you want to change the fan you can do so by maybe looking up the model right there okay so let's move on to the next part this is your wi-fi connector the black cable is on the left the gray cable is on the right so to remove the connector you can simply lift it straight up and that's how you disconnect the wi-fi cable now when it comes to the wi-fi antenna the wi-fi network card you can just remove by using a phillips screwdriver slide it away from your body slide it that direction and that's how you remove the wi-fi card all right let's talk about the uh, motherboard see if we can remove the entire motherboard as well as the screen okay so we are going to disassemble everything at this moment let's go ahead and disconnect the flex cable this is for your keyboard lighting you just have to lift up the connector slide it down this is your keyboard it has a little plastic right here so remove that plastic the two side clipper slide it down so you make sure the clipper is open by sliding it down to your body and now you can slide the flex cable down towards your body as well open up the clipper here this is for your touchpad slide that flex cable down this is maybe for the clicker open the clipper slide it down this is your everyday lighting i think this is the just the lighting here for the bottom uh, just slide the cable down okay we disconnected the cmos already let's disconnect this cable here it's double-sided adhesive down so i have some difficulty by sliding it okay to the left disconnect the speaker cable and the webcam cable right there if it's too tight what you can do is you can use the plastic prying tool to push it at the same time you're pulling it so push and pull to disconnect that speaker all right we are pretty much done let's go ahead and remove the screw this is for your motherboard Once we have removed the two screws on the right, I forgot to remove the LCD uh, cable right here. So let me go ahead and open up that tape, flip open that connector and slide the LCD cable. Away from me so slide it away from that direction 
Okay. That's for your LCD. And the entire motherboard will just come right off. All right. So the RAM is probably right here. It is soldered onto the motherboard, which means this is not a replaceable RAM or upgradable RAM. So I apologize in the early video that I introduced by saying we are going to upgrade the RAM. I did not know that the model of this is not upgradable. So I apologize in the early video introduction. This is your heatsink. Um, if you feel like the heatsink is overheating, I'm sorry, the CPU is overheating, you can remove the four screws, right? And apply a new thermal paste on it. Okay, so that is that. Now let's talk about the screen. We are going to disconnect the entire screen. So one of this, Wi-Fi here, webcam here. Make sure all the cables are free and loose. Phillips screwdriver. Remove the two screws. We have disconnected that. Flip that hinge. Open at 90 degree angle. Now we can slide the keyboard out. Okay, so your entire screen is here. And this is your keyboard. And is the keyboard replaceable? The answer is yes. This keyboard is replaceable. I can see that these are all the tiny screws. A lot of them. I don't know, a good amount of 20, maybe 25 of this tiny screw. Once you remove all the screws, the entire keyboard will just come right off and you can do a replacement of it. You don't have to replace the entire uh, palm rest with the touchpad and the, and the keyboard. All right, so that is that. And this is final. This is your LCD screen. So is the LCD screen replaceable? The answer is no. Uh, I would think that the touch screen and the LCD is all part of it. And if you just want to replace the cracked screen, you might as well replace the whole thing. I think that the LCD and the touch screen are adhesive together. It's not a separate thing. So you will have difficult time by having the um, alignment of the touch screen and the LCD. So my recommendation is to change the entire screen. All right. I hope the video is helpful. And again, um, please give me a like, thumbs up, smash it, you know, do whatever you want. And I just hope that this video is helpful to you. And uh, if and if it does, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Ask me any question down below. I do reach a comment and I will answer any of your computer questions. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye now.